This is the massive project that's going on across the street from the USS Midway, which is over here. This is Harbor Drive, downtown San Diego, the intersection of Broadway. Broadway's right here. There was an old Navy office building that was here for years and years. They tore it down about five years ago, four or five years ago. They've been building that building that, that's in the background here. They built that a few years ago. They had plans for a gigantic hotel here, including an arch from one tower to the other on the top floor, which uh, plans got scrapped during COVID, so this has been an empty lot for a long time. These six cranes have been installed here within the past few months. It's hard to see all of them from here. I can see one. There's two way back there. The red one right here is number three. Way in the back there is four. Over here we got five and six. This little black and black one right here is like a temporary one. It was using it earlier this morning. It was it was actually forked out pretty far to uh, extend it out to put something into the pit down here. This is a huge pit, huge hole, gigantic project. With all these cranes here, there's also been little mini cranes like this one here, uh, kind of in the mix all over the place. And this is multiple buildings going on. Uh, I'm gonna be giving regular updates on this one throughout the project. It's gonna take at least another year to go. There's all steel frames on all these structures, whereas most of the buildings downtown are all concrete rebar front rebar reinforced these are these are all uh steel beams uh put together these go up a lot quicker and uh as far as i know they're going to be probably some hotels uh mixed in with office buildings the one that is finished complete over there has been open and operational that is the navy headquarters so this entire lot was all navy um, headquarters buildings uh, administration buildings i think there were about four four at least buildings here and they were a few floors high they were all torn down that was a awesome project to watch them tear them down too with all the bulldozers and and tractors and multiple uh things they used to take them down and then condensed all of that office space into this one tower now they have all the rest of the space to work with and you can see something down here that says fall 2023 is when they're expecting something to be done so we'll uh we're gonna keep it up until then we got a, over a year to to keep checking this out i'm gonna go somewhere else let's go look into that hole it's saturday there's a lot of people out on this boardwalk this is a busy place where i am right now is broadway pier so this is the end of broadway downtown san diego it ends at the broadway pier this is a cruise ship terminal all the cruise ships come in here uh those will be coming in soon i'll, I'll probably make a couple videos of that too for the heck of it now let's go take a look inside this hole i got pedicabs everywhere there's pedicab pedicab people tourists hotels all these hotels are new these hotels used to be parking lots a couple years back so much construction going on here i have a a picture that I took a couple years ago of that hotel and this was just a parking lot to this was a just a big open parking lot where people would park and go on these harbor cruises here There's a lot of harbor cruises that you can pick up right here USS Midway's in the back over there I'm gonna pop across the street and go look in this hole see what I can see from here you can see a lot of cranes a lot of crane action it's Friday about five o'clock a little after five five thirty maybe so everybody's done for the weekend. They're going home. There's another pedicab. Look at this hole. This is uh and they've already this isn't even as deep as, as it is. You can't see the, how deep it is because they have already got concrete going on there. They've already been building up on it. Now this is gonna be a building here, it looks like. Now the gigantic concrete underneath down there, you can see that how there's uh looks like there's some underground tunnels and stuff going on here. Now that goes throughout this entire complex there's underground tunnels here so this is this is still well below ground and there's lots of tunnels going on here so this is going to be an interesting complex to be able to get back and forth between everything this is this is like i don't even know how many acres this whole lot is but it's it's freaking huge i've got i can't even when i when they watched when i watched this crane go up that was massive too this took a couple days because there are so many sections on it it's pretty far out from the street. It's in the middle of this entire uh, uh, complex or compound or whatever we want to call this place. So that's a massive crane that goes way down deep too. 
and it's hard to get that close to here now you can see the one that i was showing you here like that, that thing extends out that thing was way way in here this morning going in that way when i was on my way past this place earlier didn't have time to stop to make a video but i uh i knew i had to come back here now let's see nobody's out there nobody's out everybody's gone i'm gonna see if i can get a little bit better view into this hole it's a nice cross view here see all the way into the building Now this building right here is already about as tall as all of the other buildings that were here were before. They weren't very tall. They were maybe, I don't even remember now, uh, five floors high, four floors high maybe. And they were built a long, long time ago, so the floors weren't as, weren't as uh, tall, t height. They weren't as tall as floors are now. They're probably a little bit shorter. Anyway, that's a huge, huge difference. And I'm, don't believe they had anything underground so this is all this is all completely different than it was before oh, another thing i didn't notice from over there but i just noticed it now as you can see the crane going through this building here that's i don't know why i like i like seeing stuff like that it's just cool see the whole crane going through who knows how deep that thing is the base of it anyway this one isn't that sh isn't that tall but it's got the straight up and down. This is a different type of crane than the other ones. This one, I don't know exactly what the what the type, the name of this style of crane is, but you notice the other one just goes straight out, like the one behind it goes straight out, swings around. This one goes up and down, so it's made more for just kind of like in the immediate area, uh, up and down lifting. While well, the other one can swing around and pick stuff up from far away and swing it way out. Anyways, they got two they got two, three of each kind. They got three of this guy and three of that guy throughout this property here. It's the other one way back there. Man, man, I love cranes. All right, falling off curbs. Time to get in the street again. I'm at a hole in the fence. This is that uh, temporary crane that's here. This looks like what they might want this to look like when they're done. That, minus the cone and the cars. This is going to be the corner. That building way down there from, from that side looking this way, that's what that is going to look like. You'll see that when I get over there. Somebody's leaving. Oh, I got a parade going on here. Here's another one. Don't know exactly where that is. Probably a different corner. Hard to tell. Anyway, there's a crane inside the building again. Same one as earlier. I'm uh, gonna make my way around here. There's the midway. Oh. 
while I have your attention here, uh, somebody please let me know, is it better to be doing these videos like long ways like this? So, I mean, it probably looks better on your phone when you hit full screen, but if you're watching it on your computer, does it make you look stupid? Is it worse? Is it better for me to turn it the other way? I'll turn it, I'll, I'll give it a quick example here. Is this, is this better? This is what it's supposed to look like. Now I gotta go move these cones. Oh god, there's a fucking trolley coming at me! Oops, I didn't mean to swear. I said fun trolley, that was a fun trolley. Here we are. I moved the cones, now it looks a little bit better. So what we're looking at here on this picture is this corner. Uh, starting right there. So this is the building that is complete that is standing right now is the middle one right here that you can see right there. The middle one of my frame is that building right there. Everything else here on that picture is just frames. We're not even there yet at all. So we're looking at, looks like it's about three blocks. You got three buildings in the front, the three, three buildings in the front, three in the back. Looks like it's about three blocks this way, two back. It's a gigantic area right here. All right, on we go. This one's a little closer. Coming up on crane number three here. This is another one of those uh, straight up and down guys. The building in the back there is is uh, one of the one of the older high rises in downtown. It's been here a while. I, I saw a video on YouTube from the 80s where that that building was in the background, and then. Uh, talking about this one now this one right here in the back there with the little tiny windows that's the jail that's the San Diego jail you don't want to be in there or do you who knows on to the next building oh and there's another one back there so that one that other building's huge too that, that one in the back that one's got two cranes for itself it's got this crane and that crane over there this one's got one crane for itself this one right here has its own crane this guy right here now this is crane number four we're at crane number four now this is one of the uh i guess traditional cranes we have more of these downtown than than those other guys than than that one there's there's a few of these downtown but it's mostly on this site and this is the ones that are all over the place downtown now all of these all this, see the steel here? The steel is, uh, you can you can see the steel. Now this steel right here has already been uh, ha, uh, treated with fire retardant. You can see all that. They've gotten higher. The last time I came by, they weren't all the way up. So they're getting moving right along with that here. Here we come to this picture again. It's another one of the same picture. And that again is going to be that building. what any of this is going to be hotels shopping possibly residences but this is the touristy uh, portion of downtown San Diego or right on the harbor lots of tourists uh, tourism going on here cruise ships conventions uh, vacations staycations everything so this is the place to be so this is why they're doing away with the old eyesore buildings that were here and uh, making something better. Let's go check this out. All right, don't run over me. This thing's actually see-through once you get up to it. Whew. I can see the crane through here.
Yeah, I got a hole in the fence. How about that? That's easier. Now, as you can see, the crane is going into the ground because this portion is also, I don't even know how many floors deep. I'm going to guess three. Three to four floors deep. This is a gigantic uh, undertaking to dig this out. It took them months and months and months, maybe even a year, just to dig the freaking hole for this place. Staircase in the back there, fire, fire stairs. All the way up. That was a seal tour. We got all kinds of stuff going on around here. There goes a fold up t shirt shop. Out with the old, in with the new. That's the name of downtown these days. Oh, here we go. This is crane number five. Coming up on crane number five here. Another one of those straight up and down guys here. Now this one's cool. It's all like kind of curvy. Looks like a, a ship. And each one of these buildings also has its own little elevator system on the outside for the workers to uh, bring all the supplies up to each floor. You see that one there. I don't know where this one is, but this building kind of looks a little more unique than the other ones. The other ones are all square. This one's got a nice rounded front to it. This street does curve around, so it makes sense to kind of go with the curve, go with the flow. Something like that. That fold up t-shirt shop that went by, it's just like this. See this guy, see this thing right here? This thing folds up and uh, you attach it to your car and drive away with it. So the whole t-shirt shop just folds up and it's gone. We'll be back tomorrow. So now we're getting to the base of crane number five. Look how far we've come, all the way down there. Can't even see crane number one anymore. two and three though. <laughs> Ah, I'm walking in bushes again. It's gonna be a tough spot because I'm right at the corner here. Let's check out this crane up close and personal here. This is the base of the crane. This is about as close as you get to a crane. I'm right outside the fence, just a couple feet right here. Now, this looks like a brand new one too, brand new paint job anyway, but I don't know, I'm sure they use these, reuse these cranes sometimes, but a lot of times, I don't know what they do with them. They use them for a couple years and then who knows what. Looking up the dress of a crane. There we are, and let's go around this corner and not get hit. And we're at the corner. I'm gonna go way back. See what this looks like from far away. Ah, all right. Curb, no more falling. Hey, look. Are we at crane number six? This is crane number six now. We've got the curve of this building. It would be kind of cool if they made it look like the front of a boat or something, who knows? Might be too cheesy. 
for all the money they're spending on this place. All right, let's walk through more bushes. I get over here. There's another elevator system for these guys to get up there. You can see the, they usually put the, the floor on the edge there so you can see what floor you're going to. What floor are we calling this? Level three? Is that a L? Four, five, seven, eight, nine. So far we're at nine. Is that gonna be all? Are we gonna go past? 10, 10 will be the roof. Let's get up and close to crane number six. Crane number six, what's up buddy? I haven't even been this close to this crane yet. You see all the sprinkler systems all up in here too. Fire retardants, this building is a lot of stuff you'll never see when the big, when the thing is built, when you walk inside of it. It's gonna look all nice and new, but you're not gonna know there's all this stuff inside. See its bones, the bones of the building, the skeleton. There we go, crane number one, way back there. You see the back of it, wait, nope. I, never mind, that is crane number four. Crane number one's way back there, I can't see it. Uh, here's the elevator to this building, back here. This one's got a curve to it too. Now this one hasn't been up for very long. Space in between these buildings is gonna be a big, big walkway area. There's gonna be a lot of shopping here. This is gonna be a lot of money flowing in and out of this place. Well, not out, it's not a casino. Or is it? Who knows? I don't know what this place is gonna be. Getting closer. If anybody has seen my video that I put up recently about the, the mystery building that is replacing the old San Diego courthouse downtown by State Street, this is the crane that they were raising higher the other day. And now they've raised it so high we can see it from all the way down here at the harbor. And, uh, I, gotta, I haven't double checked. They put up 80 feet, I believe, maybe even 100. I know they definitely put up 80 feet that day. So there's that. Anyway, back to this one. Started at the northwest corner now. I'm at the southeast corner of this property. I don't know if it's a property, a lot. What is it? It's a, it's a construction site. That's what it is. See anything in here? So that's why these plates are here. They got a big hole. If you're in the Navy, you get a good view of this site. 
These guys are probably busy working though when they're in there. be able to get over here a little bit. I did watch them build this building however many years ago that was it was uh, pretty cool this all these windows are uh, sections they're just a facade they attach to the actual uh, steel beams so they're uh, they were all loaded up with a crane and, and uh, fastened on there one day I'll put up a picture or two I got got a few of them I'll get back to this side. Now it looks like they have underground parking over here for uh, for this building anyway. That's kind of cool. Underground parking is is uh, what they're going to in San Diego because there's no space to park anywhere besides that. Sweet, sweet. All right, back over there is that crane number two, way over there, three, maybe three. And we're over here. I wasn't expecting to go this long, but I didn't know how far I was gonna get. Random light bulb. See this spot right here is all done, looks all good. The rest is construction zone. Let's go check out the beginning of the building over here. That stays neat. Anchor, that's the front of the building. That's cool, cool. Flags. Here's that crane. Crane number one over there. Crane number two, crane number three. Okay. Four, five, Six is on the other side of this thing somewhere. Hey, we got a hole. Look at this. And nice pole. This is the back side of where I started over there. I was looking over that fence this whole time from that street. Now let's get, these are all gonna be some sort of pillars for something. Maybe uh, another floor away, who knows. Let's go get to the base of this crane. Let's see what we 